Every fourth Saturday of the month, Bethany United Methodist Church opens up its doors to the community to come in and shop for gently used clothing and furniture items and household goods that the people of the community have brought in. And today, uh, Jeannie Ashenfelder is going to talk with us a little bit about that ministry. So thank you for coming, Jeannie. Thank you for having me. How long has this mission called the Caring Closet been going on at Bethany? Uh, approximately six years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where did the idea come from to start it? Well, one of our um, snowbirds came from Florida, mm -hmm. and she was there. They had a little, it was a thrift shop, and it was 10 cents for everything. And she brought that idea back thinking that could be used as a fundraiser. Well, the more we talked about it, we decided that it would be better to do something free and not make it a fundraiser because we have other fundraisers that we can do. Uh, we had two vacant properties across from our church. We were hoping maybe to, we did purchase the property, but the houses were in disrepair, so they had to be torn down. So future growth, our idea is to have maybe something put up there permanently. We decided to... Uh, put a bin outside and advertised and we take gently used clothing we get everything and anything it's <laughs> just not the clothing we have toys and and household items um, at Christmas we have gifts and uh, special gifts and things like that so we've been we started off with about eight people working we meet every Tuesday evening in our um, downstairs um, room and set up and sort all the things that come through. We take anything that's really in bad shape and send that to like Salvation Army or some place where they can use it or uh, what they do with theirs. I think they bundle it and send it elsewhere. Do you have any stories of families that were particularly touched by something that they found there at the sharing or the caring closet? Oh, every every month that we have the caring closet, there's some child walking around with a stuffed animal that they found, and and it's just amazing. We have actually one little girl from our church uh, that's a member of our church was there with us this past weekend, and she comes running in. She loves the caring closet. She's <laughs> going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> and she found a pair of tap shoes, so she Aww. was entertaining us with her tap dancing <laughs> then. And so, you know, it's just, it's one, it's really become like family. Mm. And the clients that come in come from all over. It's not just within our own community. Uh, they come from the Harrisburg area, and Mechanicsburg, um, Newport, you know, all of Perry County, Western Perry County. Uh, so it's it's reached a long distance for us. It's... Um, and for them. How do you get the word out about the Caring Closet? Well, we advertise each month in the local newspapers, the free flyers that go, um, you know, like the Sentinel and things like that. Uh, we also have posters around town for special events. Um, but I think it has really gotten going through word of mouth. Mm -hmm. People will come and then they'll bring someone. And then we also have uh, gotten to the point where people who come as clients also come to help us and it's just such a blessing it really is recently you also made it feel more like community by adding food to the mix by having a meal provided um, and you said that some corporations have also donated yes we have in addition to our clothing and toys and household items we have um, a table full of bread and that's donated by giant foods and from Enola, and uh, we also have pastries that they give us, and it's like the day after their sale date, so we always get them that Friday before, so it's just that one day after their sale date. You said uh, um, that maybe even sometimes you get cakes in? Oh, yes, yes. Well, our bread run actually started befo before, that's another group in our church, and every five days a week, they'll go to Giant, pick up the day-old pastries and bread, and then they deliver those to the different food uh, soup kitchens and children's homes, places like that. Mm -hmm. And um, they say they get such a blessing from that because one day they had a, a, a really neat birthday cake, and they went to this one place, and 
and they're allowed to come out and pick one item. Well, it turns out at the children's home, there was one boy that was having a birthday, and he had his birthday cake. <laughs> so that just you know, made his day. It um, is neat how things can work together like that. Yeah, it just, you know, it, it's coming from above, helping yeah. us and guiding us. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. How are ways that you get the people that come to the Caring Closet involved with the church and share about your faith? Well, we do have a prayer wall, and there are papers as they come in. Uh, there's someone at the door to, uh, to greet everyone. And we have so many regulars, you know, they already know the routine. And if they have special needs or prayers for not just themselves but for other people, they'll mm. fill out one of the uh, papers and put it on our prayer wall. And then we, you know, we'll have prayer for that. We always have an information about what's going on in our church posted, and we have flyers that they can take along with them uh, so that they can be reminded of that. They're always included and encouraged to attend any of the services that we have and any of the special events. Yeah, I think it's great that, you know, it's not just that you're giving clothes and mm -hmm. and household items to them, but that you really are trying to make them feel like family and mm -hmm. that you care about what's going on in their life with the prayers and yes. so forth. Well, so. there really is a personal connection. You know, a lot of times there's, you know, people in the back uh, will be talking to someone and the next thing you know, they're, you know, they're praying together. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it really is, it really is a blessing. It just, it's such a neat place to be. Well, I thank you so much for your ministry, and if you are looking for a place to donate some items, you can check out my Facebook page or my blog to find out more about Bethany's Caring Closet at susquehannaexpress.blogspot.com.